Hi guys, welcome back to the Nampa University YouTube channel. My name is Selena Sumakno and I am currently welcoming you from Spain, more specifically Granada. And today we are going to discuss um, something I'm quite well versed in. We're going to look at the arts and culture program in detail from year one until year three. So this is for the people who may be confused about what to tell their family and friends when they ask you what does arts and culture entail really, or you just want to know more about the program, then please stay tuned and let's get right into it. So for year two, we have research seminar, identity and cultural diversity. We have American art, which is basically the American version of Hotwa. We have vulgar culture. We have a core curriculum course you can choose, culture through philosophy, planetary cultural politics, American popular culture, America on record, intersexuality and intermediality, and a minor of your choice. So let's break it down. The research seminar is basically you going into class, beforehand you will have read a bunch of texts and then you need to respond, which is your weekly assignment on Brightspace. Um, you cover things that are basically all about the American identity, um, you know, how identity is constructed, how you have all these histories that shape an identity. We talk about immigrants such as, you know, the Irish. Um, we talk about the African-American identity, we talk about the different types of um, Latinx identities, um, we talk about what it means to be Mexican, we talk about what it means to be a woman, all the different things um, that a person can experience just based on their identity in the U.S. of A, basically. And that class is very political and I really enjoyed it because you come to class and you you know watch the news a little bit and it's a very discussion based class because it is a seminar so a lot of the times you go into the class with this mindset that you're going to accomplish something and you're definitely going to discuss important things which makes me very happy um, American art like I said is basically just the same thing as Hotwa except it's with American um, art obviously uh, you go into lectures and you write your notes and then you study for them. You have a midterm and you have a final. And then you have vulgar culture and that was a really, really fun course to do. I did that in my first term, I think, even. Um, you learn about all of the different things in culture that is seen more as like low culture. We talk about things like the affect, we talk about the abject, we talk about um, you know, things that are considered sacred and unsacred in art. Um, we talk about kitsch, we talk about pornography, there are a lot of things that are really fun to discuss and you have a final paper for that um, and I found it really really fun. I did mine on a music video um, that included blown up sex dolls and how that was a representation of queer identity. It was very cool. And then we also have the core curriculum. So there's a selection of courses. Of course, this will depend on what they will have for you once you're in university and taking arts and culture. Um, I chose gender out of all of the courses and that basically entailed just a lecture-based class where I had to write two papers for it and I learned about all the different histories and gender theorists and um, issues that are occurring in the world including things like religion and sport etc. Um, then we have culture through philosophy. Honestly this is another heavy course. I I cannot honestly say that I sat in all of the classes and thought, wow, I really get this. Um, it was a very difficult process to get to understanding it, mostly just because, you know, we're arts and culture students. Philosophy isn't necessarily one of our top priorities when it comes to educating ourselves. But the professor was really, really helpful in like, you know, trying to make us feel less overwhelmed. Um, and it was really interesting because you see how philosophers sort of theorize all these issues that are happening in the world, such as racism, fascism, etc. So I really enjoyed it. Um, we have planetary cultural politics, and that is another politically 
heavy class, obviously. It's another one that also has a lot of discussions, but reading and preparing and watching for this one is probably one of the heaviest of all of the courses. Maybe a little bit more than Hotua even. You have documentaries to watch, articles to read, um, all those things that are just assigned to you weekly. And you have um, one hot seat that you have to sit in per term, I believe. And if you're in the hot seat, that means you are in charge of guiding the conversation. And then you also have the article, discussion, leaders, whatever. Um, basically, you have to teach everyone and summarize what they've already should have um, researched and read before coming to class. And it's one of those things where you feel a little bit more like you're in debate class, which I actually enjoy. And then we have um, American Popular Culture, which I haven't taken yet, so I can't tell you what it's about yet, but I'm very excited for that one. And then we have America on Record, which is about the history of American music. I am willing to guess that this probably has um, stuff that, you know, for example, how slaves have influenced uh, music in the United States and how that has basically turned into mainstream music that we listen today, you know, from work songs to blues, etc. Um, and then we have intertextuality and interme intermediality, which is also another technical course that you take like academic skills or research methods. And then for the minor, I'm taking American Literature, 20th and 21st Century, I'm taking Theorizing Diversity, and I'm taking um, Diversity and Policy. So with the third year, it does get a little bit more complicated because you have all these options. Basically, the most important thing you need to know is that in the second semester, you have a space of 15 credits that you can spend the way you like. You can either stay in the university um, and then take a bunch of courses you want, you can um, go abroad, or you can take an internship. This is basically your second minor, and um, while you're doing the second minor, you're also doing your bachelor's thesis. So in the first semester, of the third year, you have all of these compulsory courses including visual culture, perspectives on photography, television, industry and aesthetics, city culture, organizing the creative industries, working through fashion, and then you have your minor. Um, for me, I think I am looking to go abroad and then take a bunch of courses that I would like to add to my repertoire of the courses that I take at the Rappelt. Um, and then on top of that, I will be doing my bachelor's thesis abroad and I will be Skype calling and communicating um, through the use of the internet um, with my supervisor. And a lot of people choose very different things, um, so there's really no like top or right answer or choice. Um, so you can really just decide what you want to do and, you know, choose the option that will best enrich your experience. So that is it from me for today. I know this was a very long video this time, but I thought it would be helpful since a lot of people ask me that question, you know, what are you going to study? What are you studying? Arts and culture tends to, it tends to sound a little bit more vague than all the other more practical uh, majors so hopefully this will answer some of your questions hopefully this will stand as a guide if your relatives or your friends are asking you questions and you feel I have no idea um, hopefully it clears your mind a little bit and I also hope that you enjoy it so thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to like subscribe comment down below what you would like to see next um, and I will see you in the next one bye Hi guys, welcome to the Dapa University YouTube channel. My name is Lina Smakno, and today we are going to discuss. <laughs> <laughs> Maya was having a cough attack. <laughs> okay, rewind.